Hello and welcome back to Plant Nerd. Today I'd like to talk to you about one of my favourite plants, it's Euphorbia obesa. We're also going to be having a look at a couple of batches of seeds uh, that were sown, one back in the summer of last year, 2022, and one on New Year's Day 2023. So we're going to have a look to see how they're getting on. So here they are, my um, male and female Euphorbia obesa. Um, I've used these to propagate from seed. Um, this is the female here, slightly smaller than the male. Um, if I hold it, you can kind of get a sense of the diameter. Um, I just think they're beautiful looking plants. Uh, they do look like fossils. Um, as they age, they will get taller, but um, these are probably well, less than six or seven years old, I would imagine. Um, Euphorbia are endemic to a place called Kendrew, which is in Great Karoo region of nor the Northern Cape of South Africa. This is the male uh, plant. Unfortunately, it's got some damage in the crown there, which I'm hoping will not stop it from producing flower buds this year. Um, as you can see, it's got a slightly different striation to the female at the bottom there, some lighter lines um, and slightly squatter kind of shape. Um, but I think, like I said, I think they're beautiful. Euphorbia have male plants and female plants, uh, meaning that they are dioecious. Here's a picture of the male plant uh, when it was in flower last year. And now I will show you a picture of the female plant from last year. And to transfer the pollen from one to the other, I simply used the end of a paintbrush to just pick up some of the pollen and wipe it onto the female flower. And here's a picture of the female plant once the seed pods have started to ripen. Once the seed pods have ripened sufficiently, it's a really good idea to cover the whole plant with a net bag or something similar because the seed pods actually explode quite violently uh, to distribute the seeds. Um, usually within each seed pod you get three seeds. Um, I don't know if you can see from this picture but there are three sections to each seed pod and one fairly large seed um, per section. Hi guys, if you're enjoying this video, please remember to like and subscribe for new updates. It doesn't cost you a penny and it really helps me out. Thanks. And here are the Euphorbia obesa that I planted or sowed back in August of 2022. And as you can see, they're growing quite well. They're probably the size of a large pea and um, they have been transplanted from their original um, sowing positions. Um, the soil had gone a little sour and was growing some algae on top. So um, I'm just going to insert a picture of, of what they look like before I did um, transplant them. And you can see they grow up on a little stalk, kind of look a bit like a little stalk of broccoli. Um, when you replant them, you can plant them lower down in the soil so that they look a bit more like a Euphorbia obesa should. Um, you can see some of these have still got the seed leaves, the cotyledon, uh, but these will drop off and um, that will be the last time that they produce leaves. In quite stark contrast, here are the Euphorbia obesa that were planted in January of this year, on New Year's Day in fact, um, as you can see by the lovingly made little plant tag. Um, I think it's probably because of the lack of light, but the the little seedlings are completely etiolated. They are on a heated propagator um, because of the time of year. It is quite cold in the plant room most of the time. Um, and if you compare that to a picture of the others that I showed you earlier, um, you can see that these ones aren't looking quite so good. However, I wanted to plant them because um, I had read in the literature that euphobia, euphobia obesa seeds lose viability really quickly. And I've been storing these since um, 
the end of October. So I didn't really want to wait till spring just in case. Um, however, I planted, I think, 13 seeds and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about 10, I think there. So um, not a bad rate of germination, despite the fact that I just stored them in a little plastic bag in a cupboard for a few months. Something else I just wanted to share quickly with you that I find quite interesting is um, the relationship between Euphorbia obesa and Astrophyta masterius, which are two of my favourite plants. You can see, I do like that shape. Um, and how they come from distinct geographical places, so um, Africa and America. Um, and they are an example of convergent evolution, which means that they are separate species, but that they have um, evolved in their distinct geographical locations to fill the same niche. And you can see that they've kind of evolved to look extraordinarily similar. I hope you enjoyed that video about Euphorbia obesa. We will do some more videos uh, when we get some seeds again this year, fingers crossed, and I will show you what the soil mix is that I use. It seems to be successful so far. We'll also do a video that shows some of the other seedlings I've got that are growing from that New Year's Day sowing. Um, we'll show you what they are and how they're getting on. Thanks for watching. See you soon.